Vote however you feel. This whole show is about feelings anyway. My one and only position on how Americans should vote is that they should do whatever makes them feel nice, since that's all U.S. presidential elections are, an emotional pacifier to let the masses feel like they have some meaningful control over their country. It's about feelings and nothing else. If voting for Kamala Harris makes you feel nice because it lets you pretend you're stopping fascism or protecting women and minorities or helping to secure a ceasefire in Gaza or whatever, then go right ahead. That's what your vote is there for. If voting for Donald Trump makes you feel nice because it lets you pretend you're sticking it to the establishment or punishing the Democrats for their misdeeds or ending the wars or whatever, then by all means do so. This whole spectacle is exclusively about feelings. If voting third party makes you feel nice because it lets you pretend there might be some answer in electoral politics, or that the empire will ever allow anyone who truly opposes the abuses of capitalism, militarism, and imperialism anywhere near power, then get in there and cast that vote. Whatever makes your feely bits feel nice. Just don't make the mistake of thinking you're doing anything other than sucking on an emotional pacifier, because you're not. No matter how you vote, Democrats will continue to win approximately half the time, and Republicans will win the other half. No matter how you vote, the ever-expanding abuses of capitalism and plutocracy will continue making life worse for ordinary Americans. No matter how you vote, the U.S. war machine will continue inflicting nightmarish mass military violence on people in other countries in order to maintain its globe-spanning empire. No matter how you vote, the profit-driven systems which rule our world will continue exterminating our biosphere at an alarmingly rapid rate. No matter how you vote, the empire's looming confrontations with Russia and China guarantee more world-threatening nuclear brinkmanship in the near future. No matter how you vote, people in the global south will continue to be robbed and exploited to give the western citizenry of the imperial core enough cheap stuff to keep them pacified and compliant. No matter how you vote, the U.S. will continue using starvation sanctions, blockades, and economic warfare to bully weaker nations into obedience. Your rulers will never give you the tools to end any of these abuses, because too much power rides on their continuation. They will only give you the tools to mollify your own frustrations and placate your discontentment by giving you a phony ritual to participate in every four years that lets you feel some degree of control. You're never voting your way out of this. The oligarchs and empire managers who rule you are never going to let you overthrow them by ticking a box. These sociopaths are never going to give their power to you voluntarily out of the kindness of their hearts. Their rule will end when the project of the U.S. empire ends, either because of outside forces beyond their control, because of inside forces beyond their control, or some combination of these two factors. It will not come about because of how anyone voted in any November. It will only happen because it was forced to happen. You can help force this to happen by working to foment a revolutionary zeitgeist within your country. You can do this by helping to wake up as many of your countrymen as possible to the fact that their government and media are lying to them constantly, that everything they've been taught about their nation and their world is false, and that a better world is possible. Lies and propaganda play an enormous role in holding the imperial power structure together, so the most effective way to help bring it down is by spreading truth and awareness. Show people how they're being lied to, abused, and stolen from. Teach them the truth about the wars, about their government, about their media, about their nation, about the people their government has designated as enemies, and about the abusive systems they all live under. That's real action. 
that kind of work matters. Your vote doesn't matter beyond its ability to help you feel a certain way. So do whatever you need to do to feel how you want to feel on election day. And then go do some real work.